Burundi is a landlocked country in the African Great Lake of East Africa, bordered by Rwanda to the north, Tanzania to the east and south, and the Democratic Republic of Congo to the west. In Burundi, they speak Kurundi, French, and Swahili. The capital city of Burundi is Bujumbura. The major tribes predominantly in Burundi are Twa, Hutu, Hutu. About five years ago, Brock Kunli and Sister Faith Adenigweku were sent forth as missionaries to Burundi by the Full Start of Missions International. And since then, they have been involved in equipping indigenous churches, cartridges, children and teens ministry, mercy and compassion, and the media ministry. While serving in Burundi, they were blessed with two beautiful kids, Karis and Peace. They have served with 18 different churches and denominations in four provinces, with hundreds of souls saved and equipped to serve God. Early 2017, they started Believers Empowerment Seminar. Their ministry is received to teach and train believers in different churches on how they can be passionate about their love for God and how they can be effective in their service to God. Since 2014, they have been reaching a village known as Uyewa in Ngozi province of Burundi. The people group living in the settlement are called the Batwa. This people group have been neglected and many of them are unchurched. During the course of the outreaches, souls got saved in their tents and many of them were healed. They were also shown compassion by meeting their physical needs, especially the needs of the children and the community dwellers. Recently, during the Easter weekend of 2017, hundreds of clothes were given out to poor children who did not have good clothes to wear. One of the recent testimonies of the outreaches was a woman whom the Lord delivered from miscarriage. Now she has a baby boy. Many of the children that started with the Bible Club in January 2013 have already grown up to become twins. As a result, there is now a weekly teenager's discipleship school where the teenagers are equipped to further learn to know God and represent Him everywhere. Majority of those children and teenagers are either unchurched or from Catholic families, but they kept coming to have a right understanding of the Christian faith and they are practicing what they are learning. The children have been able to evangelize other children through tracts, personal evangelism, and market evangelism. Seven of the teenagers that have been saved and nurtured through the Bible Club and the Discipleship School were baptized in water on the 23rd of April. They enjoy ministering to one another and their sick friends. The orphanage being a transition center to care for orphaned and vulnerable children have been a source of support to 16 children since it started on June 1, 2014, out of which 10 have been back to their relatives for fostering due to government policy. There are ever six often and abandoned children who are below three years old presently in the center. Against all odds, these ones have survived and we trust God to continue to keep them. There are presently five paid staff covering care and day and night for the children. The center is currently run with about $220 every month, excluding baby food. It is now more than four years of weekly teaching on one of the national radio stations in Burundi. The station is targeted at children and youths. The program has the possibility of reaching a million people or more as correspondence have been received from all the 18 provinces in Burundi. It is of a great blessing to children, students, school teachers and parents. I'm a missionary serving in Burundi with my family. My wife is Faith Adenipepun and I have two children, Peace and uh, Caris. Both of them also were born in Burundi. We have been serving as missionaries in Burundi since 2012. We were sent by Full Stature Missions International in September 2012. What we do in Burundi is such as uh, working among indigenous churches to equip uh, believers in the church and to encourage them to be released into ministry and to be encouraged to serve the Lord with the aim of proclaiming the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ in Burundi and to the ends of the, of the earth. 
and we we also involved in children and teens ministry and several children hundreds hundreds of children gather weekly uh, to learn the word of god and to have understanding of what it means to be saved and to serve the lord many of them are getting to know for the very first time who they are in christ and how they can be useful for the kingdom of god and uh, some of these children are unchurched and uh, many of them don't go to any church on sunday so they find the bible club as a place of fellowship and a place of um, of, of of discipleship a place of uh, it's like a family to many of them so many of these children have grown to become teenagers and as a result we now have a teenagers discipleship school and um, they are doing fine in the lord sharing their faith with other children praying for the sick healing the sick and uh, getting the oppressed delivered and some of these teenagers also are doing excellently well in their studies and in their academics um, we also do media work, media ministry and uh, the media ministry is reaching the 18 provinces of Burundi where listeners have been able to uh, contact us to share their testimonies of salvation, of uh, deliverance, of healing, of how the Lord has opened their understanding to know what they don't know before. And uh, many of them have even met with me in various churches where I've gone to minister across the nation just to show up, to show their appreciation for what they have heard on the, on the radio. We do outreaches among the poor people and the most neglected tribe in Burundi called the Batua people. These are people who are neglected and who are living in the bush and uh, sometimes uh, people even refer to them as animals in the nation. But we are trying to change the understanding of, of uh, the other tribes to receive these people as human beings and to make sure that they are, to let them know that they are also created in the image of God and uh, we we've been reaching them with the gospel and we've done discipleship program among them we also do our best to meet their physical needs and um, material needs as the lord provides we have an orphanage presently there are six children in the orphanage six babies who are below three years many of them were taken when they were few days born when their mother died and all hope was lost on them. At the time, um, a, gov a, a government official brought a baby from a mad woman to us, and uh, there was also a child that was taken from the pit latrine um, uh, three years ago. That, that's, the boy is going to be three years, August 24th, 2017. So God has kept all these babies, and they are growing well and doing fine. So I want to encourage you as you watch this uh, video to support our work in Burundi by praying for us regularly and uh, praying for us in prayer meetings and um, also by considering uh, supporting the work um, as the Lord bless you, a willing offering. And uh, another thing you can do for us is to share this video and uh, re recommend our work to your friends and uh, family, friends, and Christian brothers and sisters that you know could support our work or pray for us. You can do that. You can also support a child in the orphanage with a sum of $35 per month or 13,000 Naira that will care for a child in a month. Presently, we are spending about $220 every month on the orphanage alone, excluding baby formula, baby milk. If I have to calculate that, it could be running to $400 uh, per month. You can just commit yourself to baby formula, uh, sending money for baby formula or sending money for the orphanage as the Lord bless you and it will be used for that purpose and you'll be updated accordingly. Majorly, we covet your prayers and you can also think about visiting us in Burundi. That would be a good uh, thing to see you come around, encourage our family, encourage the brethren, and uh, we do ministry together before you return to your base. Thank you very much. God bless you.
challenged by the great move of God in the Republic of Burundi, you can contact Pastor Kunle and Mrs. Faith Adenibeko on WhatsApp plus 25771304402 or email hadekunle ade at yahoo.com or fmiburundi at gmail.com. For further information, you can also visit our website www.fullstature.net or contact FMI headquarters, Conference Center for the Nations, 4 Parliament Highway by Federal Annex Secretariat, Ibadan. The harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Come, be part of this great task. Thanks and God bless. <laughs>